Hey guys, I'm Tiffany Alvord. I'm a musician. I do a lot of covers and originals on YouTube. It has been so crazy here in Manila. I am in desperate need of a manager. And so I thought, who better to manage me than my two biggest fans? We have one day, two fans, and at the end of it, I'll pick one winner. Hey Guada! Oh my gosh, hi Tiffany! I'm so excited that you've been chosen and this is gonna be great. It's not gonna be all fun and games. Today I need you to be my manager. So are you down for the challenge? Let me know when, where I'll be there. See you soon. Hi, I'm Guada. I'm a big fan of Tiffany. And her music is so great. I really, really like her covers as well as her originals. Hey James! Hey, hi! So I'm calling to let you know that I've chosen you to be my manager for the day. Do you think you can do that? I can totally do that. Perfect. Hi, I'm James and I'm a big fan of Tiffany because I watch her videos and listen to her music. Oh my gosh, finally. I'm shaking. Right now, I, I don't know what to say. I'm so speechless. There's something I haven't told you yet. Hi, Tiffany. I'm James. How are you? Hi, how are you? When I found out that I wasn't the only one there to manage her, I was like, why is this guy here? So basically when I came here and arrived, uh, I saw this girl like right beside Tiffany. I was like, who is that girl? Who is she? Why is she there? So what I haven't told you is that this is going to be a competition to see who can be the best manager. I just told them that they're not the only manager and they're gonna have to kind of battle it out to see who's the best manager. I'm kind of nervous, but it's okay because I know her, I know what she wants, so I can make this happen. Is she really a big fan of Tiffany? Being my fan is one thing, but being my manager is another. Even though uh, Tiffany's a girl, she's a girl. I think it's an advantage for me, but let's see what he has under his sleeve. May the best man win, and I think it's me. Okay, so what we have on the schedule for today is first I want to go to a radio station and do an interview. So I need you guys to set that up. And for the second half of the day, I wanted to do something a little different. I've been kind of stuck inside the hotel and I haven't been able to see much of the city. So I want you guys to arrange something so I can get out there and see how beautiful this place is. Okay. 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 And all good managers need a phone. So there's two activities and you guys will each take on one of those. Um, do you know which ones you guys want to do? I want to do the tour. Uh, I said it first. <laughs> I'll just do the radio interview yes. with When Guada got the tour, I was like really bummed. All right, better luck next time. I really want to show Tiffany on how beautiful Manila is. I think one of the most important things that a manager has to do is to be level-headed and just kind of be calm and go with the flow. When I heard uh, the next activity was the radio station interview, I was like, oh, I can do this. Uh, I handled this kind of situation before. At this point, early in the game, I think I got it in the bag. I have plans. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, radio station. Oh, what's the name of it again? Okay, I'll, I'll just scroll it down. I think it's here. I have to do it fast. Walking tour? I didn't know there was something like this. Hi there, uh, it's James. She's gonna love this one. Yeah, the Tiffany Alfred. Oh no, it's raining. <sighs> is there a possible way that uh, you can have an interview with her today? Hi, um, this is Squada. Um, I would like to ask if you have any tours that's around an hour for the city. Yeah, like ASAP. What? Two hours? No. Five hours. Uh, can you guys make it earlier? Here's the thing, I have a friend and She's only staying here for a while and she really wants to visit Intramuros. I really need to do this right now. Maybe you can arrange something. Oh yeah, that's pretty awesome. Golf cart? Yes, yes, please. I arranged Tiffany a radio interview. Instead of us going there, I made the radio station come here. studio interview and James brought me to a radio bus. The bus is really cool though. Caught me off guard a little bit and so I'm kind of worried because I don't know what other surprises they're gonna spring on me. So far it's going pretty well. 
I just wish I knew more about what I'm actually doing. We have Tiffany Albert yeah. on the show. Hey! hey. I'm so excited to be here. So when you started uh, posting videos, did you ever think that it will bring you to a place like the Philippines? Oh my gosh, not in a million years would I think, oh, I'm just gonna go to the Philippines. Like, it's so cool being able to travel and meet so many different people and see how I've like changed their lives or affected them or how my music makes them happy. Well, we will get to know more about Tiffany Albert in a while. Right now, let's pause for a quick break. I think you're gonna sing for us in a little bit. Yeah. You are, right? Um, I think so. So I just had a live radio interview on this bus behind us, and then they throw, oh, also you're singing. They ask Tiffany to sing a song. And usually whenever I sing, I love to have my guitar with me because it's kind of like a comfort and it makes me feel way better when performing. I really knew that Tiffany's going to sing, but I didn't know that she's going to need her guitar. I don't know why he doesn't have a guitar. Well, I think he should always be prepared. As I'm crossing my fingers, I'm like, oh no, I'm going to sing right after this break. I still don't have my guitar. He didn't seem too worried about it. He's like, oh no, I got this. I'm, you know, I'll make sure I get the guitar. Don't worry about it. James is running around so confused and frantic, don't know where to find a guitar. Good luck, James. I was searching around the park and I just got the guitar from a random people having a picnic. He came to the rescue. Yes! Yeah! It was very embarrassing. That's not how you represent Tiffany. So I'm going to sing one of my songs, it's called My Heart Is, and it's kind of just a classic Tiffany song. Here's your oh guitar. Gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I did a really good job. Very, very happy to do that for her. All right. Oh, ooh, don't run, just walk. Oh, dang, he's hot. I go. got the guitar and gave it to her and performed. So basically, it's a success. Guada, she's just over there chilling inside the car. Guada has just been hanging out in the car. She didn't help him at all. So I can tell she's on top of her game, but she also doesn't want to help. I don't want to interfere. Not that I need to, because I know I'll do a good job on my part. So I brought Tiffany to Intramuros, which is Old Manila, Guada decided to take me on a little adventure. I got to learn a little bit about the history of the Philippines and what made it extra fun was that she had us go on golf carts. This is our ride? No way! She was being the tour guide as well as focusing on driving. So she kind of had to be paying attention to what's going on outside as well as staying on the road. And there's a few times where we almost like swerved off and it's like, ah! But it's all good. Oh, over there is the Manila Cathedral. A lot of famous people get married. This activity is kind of fun because you get around to see Manila, but people do this quite a lot. Over there is Fort Santiago. That's where the national hero, Jose Rizal, uh -huh. stayed. You'll see a prison cell. Hey, we're nearing the end of our tour. Mm -hmm. How about you try driving this one? Yeah? I think the most fun part of this activity was when we decided to switch and she let me drive for a second. And we started going really fast and so we got the wind in our hair and it's like, oh, this is so exciting. I would say this is a super success. Guada did fabulous and she definitely stepped up. It was a very, very close call. Both of you guys went above and beyond what I expected and I feel like you guys were both amazing managers. During the winner announcement, I was, I was very nervous. I did a great job on organizing a radio interview and it's in a mobile radio station bus. So basically, I got this in the bag and yeah. I did a good job. I was able to really show her what the Philippines is like. I do hope that Tiffany will pick me because I tried my best. So whatever the result may be, I would be happy. 
it pains me to choose one. It was really a toss up because they both exceeded what I expected. It like hurts me because I'm like, ah, I don't want to like, like neither is better than the other. It's just different tasks and overall they both did amazing. But at the end of the day, I feel like the manager that is the best fit for me would have to be Wada. They both did amazing, but I just felt like we clicked a little better, and so overall, I had to choose her for the manager of the day. I'm so happy that I won. So I just wanted to say, if I'm ever back here in Manila, it'd be cool if you could like manage me again, or you can come help run things, because I trust you, and I feel like you got my back. It was just an overall great experience. I got to have a lot of fun, and I got to see a bit of Manila as well as do an interview. And so overall, I'm just really happy. Today couldn't have gone better. It's really amazing for me. You were someone that I could really admire even mm -hmm. up close, despite whatever you accomplished in life. And Aww. I would- Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you get what I mean. Like, we're girlfriends so now. So. <laughs> Thank you so much for choosing me. No, thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you were so amazing. I got another you, hug. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.